Ah, okay. We're gonna end at 23.20. So now I show you the virtual map that I did. So basically I started way too late. I was also a bit clueless, like how to start, what checkpoint order should you take. Uh, and uh, of course I saw that Chroma map. Yeah. I also clipped his uh, part. And I was then thinking, yeah, okay, I could basically just copy Chroma and f try to find different stuff that, that he didn't do. Like he, there were some minor details where I thought like, um, that he could have done something better there. Uh, but actually I didn't really full copy him. I only copied some parts. I actually went for a different checkpoint order than Chroma. Uh, that was maybe a mistake because I had to test stuff out. Yeah, uh, but yeah, let's go into the replay editor and I uh, open the replay and I can already tell you, yeah, my PB 1 minute 22 is shit. The no respawn timer, however, would have been 33.02. The thing is that Chroma had in the video a run of 32.9, so a tenth faster than me. And uh, that means that my line was not necessarily better, but I could have improved uh, the time here still. However, it was in most parts actually pretty sick by run. The problem is, like, even getting a good no respawn timer in my run was already super difficult enough. Like, it was impossible to finish this without any respawn. <laughs> way, way too difficult. I didn't think that, but it is way too difficult. Uh, and getting a good time is also like difficult. Uh, can I have a free cam? Yeah, free cam. Uh, can I can I move that camera now? Uh, I can't. Mm. Yeah, so wait, we had also a free free things here in the bottom, right? Need to shortly see. Otherwise, I can just delete that. But that's what Lars would hate me for that if I do that. I was not in this uh, meter tracker since quite some time. But I don't see what I'm searching. I thought there was a free camera button. Because I kind of want to uh, show first my map. Uh, yeah, let's, let's then just delete this. It's the easiest. Uh, okay, I deleted also the ghost with that. Well, then then we have to reopen the track. What is this now? Why is it always pointing towards here? I'm confused, I'm confused, I'm confused. Mm, why can't it move like a normal free cam? Like, huh? It's inverted. Oh, I'm confused. Yeah, I saw, I saw the VOD of his stream. Can I just, maybe that's the best thing. Yeah, that's a better thing. So, um, so basically Chroma started exactly like this. Like we have 10 checkpoints yeah, and we needed to find the best way to connect all the 10 checkpoints and go into the finish ring here in the middle. Uh, start this here, no? we have checkpoint there, there, here, there's a ring, here's a wall checkpoint on plastic. Then two low checkpoints on the dirt and uh, here in the bottom on the street, can't see now. A bobsled checkpoint, the most difficult one is here an uphill street checkpoint in the back. Um, you were allowed to use any block as often as you want, but no block mix. Yeah, that is the one rule, uh, no block mix, no free block. Yeah, so just vanilla basically, like in the old games. And uh, of course, it, it ends up very overboosted. So the Chroma did this start here towards this first checkpoint. And I did uh, then kind of the same, just that I added one red boost right after the checkpoint to get one bit more speed. Here can't be red boost because this is the transition to road. Towards this checkpoint, you needed the road to get high up. That's a bit annoying because you have here uh, two blocks. Uh, two blocks wide that don't have a booster on that and also the transition block has no booster uh, feels like shit yeah but if you go uh, like sharper upwards then you just jump 
uh, like there is just no other way. And here Chroma only used one red boost and then a lot of uh, like reactor and I added a second red boost. That was probably my mistake. I thought like, oh come on, a bit faster must also be possible. But no, I struggled in hard with the upcoming very difficult transition. So you go up here, this wall right, and then you barrel roll through this checkpoint into here. And somehow with that one red boost more, even when I released here, this just didn't really work anymore. And now you see already my struggle to get a good uh, no respawn time even into the finish. Because many checkpoints, like in like many difficult parts on my map, go through checkpoints. So I do crash the checkpoint and then the run is over. Like I can't even get a no respawn time. <laughs> yeah, and this is like one of them. And then you land here. So now Chroma did it different. I did small changes here, I also should have gone back to what Chroma did. Chroma jumps against the, the wooden wall and goes into black platform, which has a smooth transition into the wooden wall. I thought, hmm, in this platform you land earlier. So I tried that. Also, I wanted to go from this platform somehow onto yeah platform downhill. I didn't really find. Like Chroma went into downhill dirt, uh, much smoother than what I built. And uh, on dirt, you have a maximum speed of 900. You don't get higher, and uh, I wanted to get over. I wanted to get towards thousand, you know. So I wanted to get a like more plastic, or I like, usually want to use plastic instead of platform, of course. Uh, here I wanted to have some grip, of course. But um, so I also did the dirt super unsmooth by just uh, making an early downhill and then just dropping like this onto onto plastic red boosters. So now, now comes the difference, yeah? So what Chroma did was, he did the most logical transition, yeah? Uh, from this checkpoint into the wall checkpoint, yeah? Also that, that you combine those two. That was kind of logic. For that, he went into a wall right here, and then he drove on the wall, on the wall, on the wall, through that checkpoint, made here another wall right, another wall right, so, and then he ended up in this uphill checkpoint, and from here, he went to the... Uh, bobsled checkpoint and then he did another big wall 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 so he drove a lot with reactor boost down on, on big platform walls yeah not plastic actually that's one thing where i think he could have improved some parts but uh, i thought like on the wall he doesn't have boosters yeah so he is stuck on his like 800 speed and i wanted to avoid that so now of course one thing how can you do turns the best yeah one idea was of course right on a plastic wall yeah then you can have a lot of speed and still make it there's one issue if you don't want to block mix then you have to put this plastic wall onto black platform black platform is lower than normal platform yeah and the thing is on black platform i also don't have boosters but okay if i come here already with over 900 then i can with very smooth turns keep that much speed as well yeah uh, then I don't really need boosters, but I always need a transition from black platform to whatever surface the next checkpoint has and that makes the things then a bit difficult and uh, Yeah, here my route then differs from what Chroma did. Yeah, so my idea was uh, First of all do a very tight hairpin so so a full uh, 180 on this uh, on this plastic wall and then drop somehow down to that checkpoint yeah, so that I basically take a much tighter uh, line, yeah, Sh short distance. And then jump from this checkpoint with a ramp, there are also ramps for diagonal road, directly, perfectly through the uh, bobsled checkpoint. Yeah, there were speeds with that you could do that, but also super precise. Uh, but I, I struggled with the exit of this uh, plastic wall yeah uh, the car was not going just straight away from it it often got some movement and i had to quickly go down and if i go down right after the corner then my car was just spinning in the jump from its own and also i didn't really find a smooth drop towards the uh, boosters here so i decided in the end yeah let's just do this and i kind of have a very similar route to chroma the only difference is that I here went tight to that checkpoint while he went super outside through this one. Yeah. And I used much more boosters, so I have theoretically more speed. 
And uh, then I also tried here to not use a big wall on that you drive on the side of it. No, instead I did another here plastic wall to find the shortest possible way into that checkpoint. However, here I built also something totally way too difficult. With reactor boost down, you have to exit this platform on the left side and then the car rotates in the air by 90 degrees and if you perfectly smooth land in this wall right here, then it's fast, but yeah. <laughs> so this jump also chroma did and now there is this one difference. Like he went wide here to get this checkpoint while I went tight. So now I have to get the checkpoint. So now I go wide. That means instead of what Chroma did, he landed in here uh, on this roof kind of and directly went down here and drove to the checkpoint. But he had to do a plastic bounce uh, on, on a waterfall right before, which cost him also a bit of speed. While I can, that was my idea, just drive on the wall, perfectly smooth to the checkpoint, keep all my speed and then... Uh, and then I go full speed from the last checkpoint towards the finish. I'm actually way too fast here. So that is like the idea. Uh, my map is way too difficult. Yeah, undrivable. If you see then other maps, probably I, I saw last map. Yeah, um, his map is also not easy to get super good through, but much easier than what I did. <laughs> yeah. So in the end, my no respawn time itself also wouldn't have been any fast enough for, for top placement. Uh, I started way too late with that and um, the biggest issue is still that I have some difficult transitions like this one, barrel roll through the checkpoint, but also then alone this transition here, downhill into the dirt, it's a bit blind as well. Uh, then you, to get this fast, you need to hit the entry of this wall, so perfect, yeah, otherwise you have no control over the car and you lose a lot of speed. And the thing is, <laughs> watch out, uh, here you cross a reactor down, the reactor down holds 7 seconds or something, yeah, so the thing is, it, I hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and if I have reactor down through the whole jump here, I will not get up, I will not get up. I need the reactor down to end during this jump. <laughs> so there was even that what I had to get. If the reactor boost, however, ends already before I jump off, I jump against the checkpoint. I'm too high then. Yeah, so I have to need, I need reactor boost still in the jump and then it needs to stop. Like that is what I went for, yeah? And then I have another, uh, like there's a then small roof fit here on the plastic roof, yeah? Then onto these boosters. Then with a lot of speed into this and I barely have any control because right after that wall comes this little drop and then this, whatever I thought here, uh, and then this check, uh, the, this jump here is also so difficult to nail, yeah, and it's another one of these checkpoints, like if I go into that ring here, yeah, on my roof and I land bad here because a little bit of tilt landing here always uh, meant that I completely lose my car. Uh, no, I, I couldn't keep grip on this with reactor down. Uh, so and then I have a fucked up checkpoint again. So it was really difficult to get a new respawn time through. Because I need to hit these jumps then in one run. Yeah, and I actually got a pretty good run for new respawn time, but you will see a lot of uh, a lot of Response at some parts. So now I will show you. So uh, this extra boost there also makes me heal a bit fast. Now I release, try to get this, and then you see how difficult that is to control. And now I do multiple response. For some reason, I do always get a slowdown now. Like in my first try, I didn't have a slowdown, I only missed the road. Now I always slow down and I respawn so long until I finally get it good again and hit the dirt road. Overall there are 17 respawns in this replay I think. And I really didn't get any runs like because I died already here in this jump. And I got in the edit to training so well. So this was now super smooth, super smooth, like pretty smooth entry. Then perfectly through the checkpoint, roof it into this here. And now we come to the other very difficult part. You see, I land and my car goes right up. You see also that this is uh, already very close to the limit. This was almost perfect now. I have to respawn again. 
And then when I get it now, I get everything in one go. Yeah, that happens now very soon. I get it, everything in one go towards the last checkpoint. This. Then this. This. That was also difficult, by the way. And then finish. But the finish is difficult at my speed. So I needed one more respawn. And there we go. So that is my run. Yeah. That was also a beautiful landing right there. So you see I have over 900, but not that much more. So I speed slide here, <laughs> look. Went up to 887, let's even go higher a bit. Yeah, and Chroma went with only 800 on the walls. So, and now, you see this amazing jump. Oh, again, speed slide out of the iron. No. So, reactor boost is still on. Now reactor boost is not on anymore. Exactly when I just am under the checkpoint. Yeah. Making this roof it. And directly landing on boosters again. Chroma didn't really land on many boosters in his line. And then I thought, improvable. But yeah, here you see now also how difficult that is to control. I mean, I almost did this first try as well. Like, the, the approach here is actually super good. The only issue is that for some reason, after my landing, the car just decides to turn right. Because I land a bit too bad. I land first on my left front wheel. And then I have no chance already. A reset ring. Um... I'm not sure anymore if I did try it or not. I don't remember if I tried to put a reset ring there. There was of course only like one option where, where I could place it. So you see already that this is much smoother. Not perfect, can be even more smooth, but pretty good. And to not lose that run to see what is theoretically possible to drive on this map. Like I could drive, I could improve this run mainly after the flip where I got a slowdown all the time. I think you can just keep more speed there. So here I'm again very fast. Even going now to 900, 30, 40, 50. Yeah. And the thing is really if you land just a little bit tilted on the top here then it doesn't work. I, at some point I thought I don't get around here the corner so I have to do an upside down wall ride on plastic as well but in the end I didn't need to but I still have to oversteer here quite a lot as you see so I definitely lost I think that's 811 or something now so this transition here is extremely tough as well Especially the exit, because you could easily go too far to the bottom and then you go in this turn again higher up and you jump out. So I had to make sure that I have a line where I stay on the wall for long. Here probably I could have ended the quarter pipe at this point so that I drop directly onto a red boost. It's also kind of the most ugly map because I had no time to make any scenery or to delete blocks that I don't need to drive on. Yeah, very difficult. And yeah, as I said, this finish here is also super difficult.
Yeah, I saw last is one this line. I saw. Uh, I know about some times from Lars. I will not say now. No, I don't want to spoil that. But I'm also very interested to see what other people came up with. 